All right, hello. Um, I'm Maggie Colley. I serve as the Executive Director for OpenStreetMap US, and I am honored to welcome you all to Mapping USA. This year, we're taking a virtual road trip through OpenStreetMap across the United States. Um, and really, it's a celebration of this amazing community. I hope you all learn something new, meet someone new, and have a great time sharing all the passion and enthusiasm for the OpenStreetMap project. Before we get started, I have a few thank yous. Um, I'd like to start by thanking the Mapping USA Planning Committee. Uh, we've spent the last three months getting this ready for you all, uh, so we really hope you enjoy. So thank you to the following people. Stephen Johnson, if you're here, you can throw your emojis out to thank everybody. Stephen Johnson, Valerie Anderson, Tom Mueller, Martin Van Exel, Min Nguyen, Diane Fritz, Clifford Snow, Holly Moore for the Rad Log logo, um, and the OSMUS team, Jess Bueller and Nellie Blair. Thank you for all your support, and it's been so fun to work with you all on this event over the last few months. Thanks to our sponsors, uh, Microsoft, Critigen, and University of Arizona Libraries. Um, and thanks to OSGO for supporting our event with the use of this AirMeet account. We hope you enjoy the platform. If at any time you have questions or problems with the technology, please head over to the lounge. There's um, a table called Help and Support Table, and someone will be there to help you should you need anything at all. You can also look for all these volunteers. You can identify them not by their t-shirts, but by their profile pictures. You'll see the Mapping USA logo as their profile photo. So if you see one of those people and you need help, um, you can just go ahead and send them a direct message. Thanks to all the speakers and facilitators who are giving their time to create this wonderful content. And thanks to all of you for showing up today. Many of you also donated when you registered and we are so very grateful for your support. Over the next 10 minutes, um, the OpenStreetMap US Board of Directors will be talking about current initiatives of the organization and some of what you can expect in the future from the organization. So first up, I invite Martijn Van Exel, please take it away. Welcome everyone to uh, to Mapping USA. Maggie, thanks for the intro. Um, so we're gonna spend a few minutes talking about OpenStreetMap US before we kick off the sessions. Um, and I have the honor to get started. I was um, elected to the to the board of directors um, a year ago, and I'm honored to sort of um, support support OpenStreetMap US. And I'm gonna sort of intro a little bit by just t telling you a little bit about what, who we are and what we do. And then um, our my fellow board members are gonna go. <coughs> excuse me, gonna go into a little bit more detail. So. Uh, we're OpenStreetMap US. Um, we uh, are an official OpenStreetMap um, local chapter, so we're we're um, we're part of the we're in that sense a part of the OpenStreetMap Foundation, in, uh, or linked to the OpenStreetMap Foundation. We have um, almost 300 members, a lot of, a lot of whom are here, and um, you can become a member by going to OpenStreetMap US, and we very much welcome that. Uh, you will support uh, our mission, which is. To uh, to su basically support OpenStreetMap in the U.S. through things like education, uh, awareness, making people generally more more aware that OpenStreetMap exists and that we have a, um, a great community here in here in the United States, um, and to make sure that we have an active, healthy healthy community in general. And 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 um, events like this are really important to that, right? So we're doing this. We're doing events like this. We're also supporting uh, smaller events throughout uh, throughout the nation. Um, if you have needs. Uh, for to help to help you organize events, then please reach out to us. We're always here to to support you in any way uh, you can. Uh, we also partner with key projects in uh, in in the community, like Teach OSM and uh, Open Historical Map. And um, Diana is going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, we do we do to to execute on that mission. We do a lot of fundraising. Um, Recently, we raised um, uh, eighty thousand dollars from from Craigslist, which is fantastic. Uh, thank you, Craigslist. And um, to we part of what we do with with those funds is is is, is maintain a really great staff. Um, Ma Maggie, we hired Maggie as an executive director um, um, a little, little over a year ago. Um, but also, we have we have a, we have our newest hire, uh, Jess Butler, is uh, is our program director director, and uh, Nellie Blair, who is our uh, philanthropy and engagement coordinator. So that's that's those are sort of great, the great staff that we have, and to and really are executing on our on our mission. Um, yeah, so that's sort of a um, who OpenStreetMap US is. 
I think it's uh, great for for my fellow board members to talk a little bit more about the um, about kind of the more specifically the things that we've been up to the, the past year. So let me hand it right over to uh, uh, to Diane. Actually, I don't think she's on the stage yet, but if, if we want to switch it up a little, Mabel Jubal, you can go first while we sort that out. Sure, I, I, can, t I can take over more time while, I, while we wait for Diane. Okay, um, welcome everybody to Mapping USA. My name is Jubal. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm actually the treasurer of uh, OpenStreetMap US, which, which means I, I get to work with Maggie and the rest of the board on fundraising activities, and I get the pleasure and honor of doing the organization's taxes every year. Um, so I've been on the board for just over a year now, and we've been involved in a number of things. Um, something I'm particularly excited about is the government working group. And this is a, a collaborative committee between members of the OSM communities and the federal government, different departments within the federal government in the U.S. that are looking at different ways to incorporate open street map into the ecosystem of data that, that the government uses. Um, we do have a small pilot project, um, which is mapping railroad tunnels in the US, um, which may seem like a small endeavor, but it's actually um, quite exciting to see some of some of the work actually come to fruition in the, in the collaboration between our organization and the, and the feds. Um, the, the group meets monthly. We're up to almost 40 contributors at this point. We certain, certainly welcome anybody else that wants to show up and participate in the working group. Um, and we're, we're also looking forward to Federal Geo Day, Fed Geo Day, which is June 8th. And there will be an exciting panel with the government committee and uh, Maggie, our executive director, um, to help with the roundtable. So super exciting. I certainly welcome anybody who wants to participate um, to, to join up with the government working group um, ongoing. I'm gonna now pass it off to my good friend and collaborator, Danny. Danny, take it away. Sure. Um, I'm Danny Wiltersorfer. I'm in the OSM US board. This is my second year and I'm really happy to be helping out in any way I can. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Mappy Hours. So this past year, we hosted 18 Mappy Hours and have 20 Mappy Hours uh, planned for the rest of the year or for the next year. We had a total of 370 participants last year and um, last year and 142 participants this year. So it's quite interesting. The topics have ranged if you have attended them, you know that there are different themes for them. So we have like a natural environment theme, we've had education, we've had lightning talks from volunteers. We had our International Women's Day Ladies Night Mappy Hour, uh, winter mapping, a celebration of his Black History Month. So it's been, it's been quite fun. If you have any ideas for a theme or if you would like to lead one, host, show your latest mapping project, so give us a little presentation. Or if you hear a discussion today, one of the lightning talks that you think should be a mappy hour, let us know or let the host know. And um, I don't know if it was two minutes, perhaps not. Um, but yeah, let us know if you have any questions about the mappy hours, we're happy to help out. Um, and again, if you want to volunteer, host one, also let us know. And with that, now that Diane is here, I'm gonna pass it over to Diane. Hello, everybody. Um, I am new to the board this year. I was just elected, so I'm getting sorted and enjoying this experience working with these people. I work in an academic library in Denver, and I am really interested in OpenStreetMap as a educating space and also the data that is available from this platform. And that speaks to what I'd like to talk about and share with you. And that is the charter projects that OpenStreetMap US is supporting. So charter projects, just to give a definition of what they are, they are projects that actively support tools, programs, and services that support the growth and stability of OpenStreetMap. So I'll talk a little bit more about um, how to 
apply to be one of these, but what your organization or your group of people might want to do this is you get into a cooperative relationship with OpenStreetMap US to have governance and be part of the 501c3 nonprofit status that we have, but you still run the project on your own. So that's just some background of what they are. We got our train wheels with this a bit with um, a wonderful organization everyone may be aware of called Teach OSM, spearheaded by Stephen Johnson. If you want more information about that, you can go to teachosm.org and find out all sorts of things. They are developing new programs within that ecosphere, and some of those are having Tuesday night, every Tuesday, mapathons with educators. You can find the calendar for that on teachosm.org. And then there is also an after school program for teens called Maptivists, started by Celeste Reynolds and Greg Hill, that meets about once a month for getting teenagers involved in OpenStreetMap as well. So based on the success of the relationship with teachosm.org, we wanted to have more charter projects come and apply. And we are very excited to announce our award of the first charter project to Open Historical Map. So this is a project led by Jeff Meyer and Richard Welty. And the place to go to participate in it directly is openhistoricalmap.org. It will have a very similar front like OpenStreetMap. And you can also find their Slack channel. And if you want to find more information about it directly, Jeff is hosting a workshop on Open Historical Map tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Daylight Time. It's Daylight Time. So. I encourage you to think about what those um, projects are like. And if you want to be part of it, we have a rolling application situation where you can apply at any time. And because we want to be very thorough about what these projects are, it's about a three month span before hearing back about whether or not your proposal is accepted. But you can find out more information about this directly at openstreetmap.us slash community, or just click on the community tab when you get to the OpenStreetMap US. So those are our charter projects. And with that, I will switch it over to Min. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, so uh, 2021 is gonna be an awesome year, hopefully better than 2020. Um, and so looking forward, um, hopefully we won't be talking heads forever. Um, hopefully uh, um, come 2022, we'll be able to meet um, at any normal like physical, con physical conference uh, again. And so um, we're looking forward to being able to have a, um, a conference uh, in the March timeframe, March 2022 timeframe. Um, but depending on how things go, um, we, uh, we're also um, uh, tentatively thinking about a fall event as well. That's uh, going to be virtual similar to this one. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, you know, keep uh, um, keep looking out for for uh, for developments in that space. Um, and uh, aside from big media conferences and that sort of thing, um, uh, I think you know the kind of overall uh, theme of what you've just heard is that there's a lot of things going on in the program space. Um, but these aren't just kind of um, led by OSM US, uh, the organization. Um, OSM US is also all of you too. So, um, you know, uh, for example, uh, there's a lot of excitement uh, kind of bubbling up from, um, from the members of this community about an, you know, Amer American style map render, you know, or some Americana. And, and I think that's really cool. Um, it's something that we hadn't really uh, had um, on the forefront of our uh, priority, um, priority lists organizationally, but um, it's really, it is really an opportunity for the community to help, um, you know, collaborate with, uh, with us and with um, everybody else in the ecosystem on a robust uh, OSM US. So, um, yeah, uh, I think this is uh, really great developments and just keep on, uh, keep on charging forward with 2021.
Um, so I guess um, we're going to be uh, switching back to Maggie then. Thank you, man. Thank you, wonderful board members. Um, we're going to take just a short break before we bring on the next round of speakers. So I invite you to head out to the lounge and join the table for a few moments and perhaps meet a new person. So see you soon. <laughs>